the Hymax coupling is available in diameters from inch and a half through 24 inches. One of the things uh, that uh, uh, happens with the product line is there is a break at 14 inches. Uh, all Hymaxes from inch and a half through 12 inches have one bolt on each end. The 14 through 24 all have two bolts on each end with a split end ring. It's still a stab-on product. It's still got the two-layered gasket for range adjustment. Uh, but it does have a bigger diameter bolt that provides a, uh, a, a, a higher level of gasket compression against the pipe wall um, on the end rings. Now one of the other features uh, that the larger diameters have is, and if we turn that coupling towards the camera, uh, they do have a, uh, a pin in the middle. It's an anti-drift pin or a centering pin. And when we install this product, uh, we allow for at least a two inch end gap between the ends of the pipe. These pins are inserted between the ends of the pipe so that if the water pressure wants to move the coupling in one direction or the other across the end of the pipe, the coupling uh, bottoms out against the pin against the end of the pipe without pulling off the line. So what we've done is we've, we've built in um, a safety factor that uh, provides uh, safety for the for the operator in the ditch. Uh, the centering pins are, uh, there is no torque requirement on those. Um, when you tighten those down, all you need to do is use a crescent wrench uh, and seal is maintained across the thread ends with an O-ring uh, that's that's part of the bolt. It seats in a groove on the on the weld lid. Uh, one of the things we want to point out on the bolts on the Hi-Max is that all the 304 stainless steel bolts uh, have an anti-seize or an anti-galling preventative uh, on the surface of them. We use a, uh, a zinc impregnation that's uh, mechanically imparted into the surface of the nut and bolt, uh, which will allow for up to 100 cycles of tightening and untightening uh, without any thread interference or any, any what we would in the industry call galling on the stainless steel. Uh, we use that uh, bolt coating process on the bolts that are under a draw load. All the bolts uh, supplied with all of our products are in fact 304 stainless steel. As you can see on the, uh, the head of the bolt which has been branded with the, uh, the 304 designation. Gaskets on the large diameter uh, product and the small diameter products are, are built in two layers. Uh, as you can see on the cross section of the gasket, the gasket's got an inner layer and an outer layer. There's a pressure cavity and a pressure dam, and the gaskets supplied on these products are hydraulically assisted gaskets that actually are actuated under line pressure. So the higher the pressure against the gasket, the higher the seal on the pipe. The gasket is activated through a hole in the end ring. So as, as we charge the line up, after we tighten the product on the line, water enters the hole in the dam, migrates through the hole, and pressurizes the cavity behind the dam. As the cavity pressurizes against the pipe, the seal lifts up against the pipe wall. And Johnny, maybe you can articulate the seal there. So the higher the pressure, the tighter the seal. That is also the feature of the gasket that provides us with the ability to uh, handle deflectional uh, angles up to four degrees per end. And no other coupling in the industry can actually uh, uh, achieve deflectional uh, angles as high as the Hi-Max. And that's, eight, that's a, a minimum of eight degrees across the fitting versus the old type couplings, which were two to two and a half degrees per end. So a lot more deflection, a lot more performance out of that product. The gasket rating is 260 pounds working pressure. And per AWWA, the working pressure uh, require or the test pressure requirement of the gasket needs to be one and a half times working pressure so all of our gaskets are tested to 390 pounds. When we tear the inner layer of the gasket out you might note on the gasket that there's a series of teeth on the inner layer. The teeth are there to maintain uh, integrity between the top layer and bottom layer of the gasket so that if there's any longitudinal movement on the pipe the gasket layers don't roll and pull out and tear apart. Today we're going to talk about cutting in a new piece of pipe with a Hi-Max coupling. There's a few things that you have to do in advance of doing the cut in. Determine the diameter of the pipe, 
that you're going to be making a repair to so that you can adjust the, uh, the product to the proper gasket size. One of the things you're going to need uh, in order to get going with the entire installation is a way to clean the end of the pipe on the old piece of pipe. And of course, the easiest way to do it is to descale it with the chain type descaler. They're commercially available in the marketplace and uh, they work very well. Need two wrenches. Uh, the first wrench we need is a double shot socket, the one with the orange head. Uh, that'll allow you to tighten quickly uh, to almost the uh, proper uh, torque that needs to be achieved for the, in, during the tightening process. And then secondly, you need a torque wrench that's calibrated to the proper torque setting for torquing the gasket and the nut and bolt to the, uh, to the required uh, torque level in order to optimize the performance of the product in the ditch. And it's recommended that uh, we have a little water in a can uh, so that we can clean off the end of the pipe after we descale it to make sure that we've removed any grit and grime that, that might interfere with the seal of the gasket on the pipe. So what we do is uh, we've, we've cut out our old pipe. Uh, we've got the, the old pipe coming into the ditch uh, in front of Chuck there with the descaler. Chuck's going to descale the end of the pipe to clean it off, which is proper procedure when you're doing something like this. Once the end of the pipe is clean, then we're going to take a little bit of water. We'll take a little water and we'll slop down the end of the pipe to make sure it's uh, free of any grit and grime that uh, might be sticking to it. Then uh, once that's complete, we take the Hymax coupling, we slide it over the pipe end. And if it slides over easily, you want to stab it to a minimum of one inch past the end of the gasket. If it doesn't go over the end of the pipe, then we take the gasket and we bend it in and we open up the range of the product by bending it in. We take something to stab through a little parting line in the bottom of the gasket and then we peel the inner layer of the gasket out. You just take a, a very gentle tug on the inner layer. It peels out like two pieces of sliced cheese or American cheese. Now we've opened up the range of the product for the uh, outer range pipe or the uh, large diameter pipe and it'll easily slide over the, uh, the end of the pipe for, to complete the tightening process. Start tightening the, the side on the steel pipe there right now or the ductile iron pipe. So we tighten that down until we achieve um, an end gap on the bolts from ear to ear which is the two blue ears on top until we've got about an inch and a quarter end gap. Alright, that looks, that looks good. Now we bring in our repair section. We insert the repair pipe into the, into the end of the coupling. If it inserts, then we begin the tightening process again. Of course, that end is uh, the, the most current type of pipe, which is PVC in the marketplace. And is commonly used in uh, cut-in type repairs. And then Johnny tightens that down the same way. One of the things we want to note on here is that the HiMax can accommodate deflections of a minimum of four degrees per end. And as you can see in this, uh, this picture here, the, uh, the, the pipes are slightly deflected across the ends, which is one of the advantages of using this product is they do accommodate deflection. Now once, once you're close to achieving uh, tightness on the pipe, then you want to take the torque wrench and you want to top off the torque to the value posted on the label for the product. In this case, the, uh, the uh, denoted value of torque is 60 foot-pounds. And Chuck will tighten until the wrench clicks and, we're at the, and we've achieved the, uh, the proper torque for the product. Same process, he'll tighten until the wrench clicks at the desired torque value, which it was, was preset on the wrench. He'll top it off, he'll go back to the other end and top the other end off one more time to make, make sure things haven't settled out and, and achieve tightness and then he'll do it again on the other end. And the HiMax basically is the fastest repair device to install in the marketplace. It's got one bolt on each end, it's got an extra long body. The, most of our bodies are slightly over 11 inches long which provide optimum cut in length. Uh, it's lightweight, it's easy to handle. Uh, the materials are fusion bonded epoxy uh, carbon steel on the body and the end rings. And then we use a uh, stainless, uh, 304 stainless steel nut and bolt assembly on each end. 
Gaskets are made out of EPDM rubber, which is a NSF 61 water grade safe uh, uh, drinking water compound, compounded rubber, completes the installation of the Hymax.